Okay, guys. Friday afternoon, it's always a ripper, and um, it never ceases to amaze me how often I get the uh, the odd text message in regards to function. I uh, just got one this afternoon, and look, this is not unusual. I get this quite a lot, especially with athletes and so forth. Um, just got a text uh, from one of my runners, and once again, same scenario in terms of talking about obviously these balance of certain muscles and today obviously we're going to talk really quickly just about something that I'm sure that you all come across and that is um, the text message goes is Stu any idea what can cause groin pain on either side depending on which direction you move in I'm like well that's a big question but straight away from this athlete <clears throat> I know straight away there's two reasons and it's simply this it's either going to be gluteal fatigue or it'll be tight hip flexors, no doubt about it, because the opposing muscles that will take up the slack or will upregulate once you have a muscle that reaches its fatigue point will be that adductor area, and obviously he's getting at both sides. So as the glutes start to fatigue, straight away it's going to bring in obviously that, that reciprocal inhibition in relation to the adductor magnus and so forth. The other part will be also is the tight hip flexor. So if those hip flexors are really, really tight, then once again, same sort of scenario, a lot of the tension will fall down in this lower part of the psoas muscle. And once again, that'll translate across into that adductor magnus. So there's two things there. Just remember that your adductors are of critical importance in terms of your gluteal fascia, and especially from a trigger point point of view. So I hope that helps you guys out on the weekend. I'm sure this will, this chat. Speak to you soon.